The president will deliver that speech and unveil his national security strategy this afternoon, the first framework of its kind since former President Obama unveiled his vision in 2015. Now, while the plan tracks closely with Mr. Trump's predecessors, officials here say it will have an unprecedented focus on trade, border security, and counterterrorism. And the pivotal remarks come amid fresh tensions over the Russia probe. In just a few hours, President Trump will roll out his national security strategy, the four pillars defending the homeland, American prosperity, advancing American influence, and peace through strength. A key focus of the speech, China and Russia. The president expected to argue China and Russia challenge American power to influence and interests, attempting to erode American security and prosperity. It comes as the probe into Russian election meddling intensifies. Overnight, the president returning from a weekend at Camp David, insisting he has no plans to fire special counsel Robert Mueller. No, I'm not. No. And yet, the president expressing new frustration with the investigation, seeming to back the claims of a lawyer for his presidential transition who says prosecutors improperly obtained thousands of transition staff emails. Not looking good. It's not looking good. It's uh, quite sad to see that. A lawyer for Trump's transition team says Mueller should not have been able to obtain the emails, which he calls privileged communications from the Federal General Services Administration. The special counsel rejecting that claim, writing, when we have obtained emails in the course of our ongoing criminal investigation, we have secured either the account owner's consent or appropriate criminal process. Special Democrats special defending the special counsel. Uh, and the reality is that people in these jobs have integrity, they're under the leadership of Mueller, who is known for being a straight shooter. Now, the latest flap over Russia is unfolding after President Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin had yet another phone call. The leader spoke on Sunday, and according to the White House, Putin thanked President Trump after the CIA provided Russia with critical intelligence to thwart an ISIS-inspired terror attack. It's the second conversation the two men have had in the past week. Savannah, Hoda. All right, Kristen, thank you.